I've got a pair of switches fitted a bigger and rubber thing to take off, which is that your control. And also, slightly bigger elevator as well, and you can see all the effects of that there. Making it an incredibly tight loop. And then again, the power coming on, and it's just holding it against the wind there. The big light coming in the front. Just over seven and a half meters. This is the three and four power and a black six. A very good picture of power. Look at this. Full power, full jet shot there. Ah, that's a little bit of a very small sense of pain to one. The aircraft is actually full of battery. Now they work the control very, very hard to keep it going back there. Now that is remarkable. What? Oh my god. That's a really astounding. Rolling on the way up. Now he's going from the port front. Now the port for the engine is actually keeping the aircraft rolling. And it's holding it in position at the same time as the thrust from the jet. Sliding backwards in a tip back step. That is a standard. There you go, you can take the laws of gravity, tear them up and throw them out the window. Two thousand hours of construction in a garage. And actually built them in his own garage. And it's built in exactly the same way as you build a radio control model aircraft, a wooden model aircraft. Except the parts, obviously, are rather bigger. But that wing has totally changed the characteristics of this aircraft. Thank <laughs> you. 